Rightio, here we have all our screw in studs posts, all machined down. Double valve springs, spring seats all been opened up, the bigger springs, and the valve guide's been machined down for the positive seals, the full mechanical seals. So all we've got to do now is just um, tap, tap them out 7 sixteenths. UNC which matches the bottom half of that stud and we'll be able to screw them in and Bob's our uncle. Okay, next what we'll do is um gonna do the, the valve seats. Gonna do a big three angle job on them. All the inlets are already roughed out. What I've done with the exhaust though, we've I've actually put hardened seats in them to handle unleaded. They can even handle um unleaded I've unleaded, sorry, LPG gas as well. So they're very hard, they last a lifetime, and um, usually you can't do these with L34 valves in them because the inserts have to be bigger. But what I've done is customised them and made my own inserts. You can see there, there's just no seat on there. All right, all on the exhaust. The exhaust always smaller, the inlets are big, unless there's multi inlets All right and you can see here where I've done the three angle valve seat job and actually you see here if we grab a valve and pull it in we'll just do that for a minute oh, sorry about the camera work I'm just gonna blow in a valve for you Just blowing this valve. Like that. And we'll shove it in and this will exactly show you where the valve actually sits. The valve seat on the valve. Like that. Just put some bearing glue on the valve here. And see right in the middle hard to pick up another light but we can actually see see the valve seat there the valve seat is 45 degrees we have a 30 degree top cut angle there our valve seats a tiny one in the middle which is 40 out and then you get a 70 degree throat angle which makes the seat nice and concentric and uh, all the thickness same thickness around the outside of the valve so that's our valves so next we're going to um, seal up the valves and um, I'm going to CC a combustion chamber find out how big the chambers are and then we can work our compression ratio back for that for our final blueprinting on our piston heights okay we'll catch you later